Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here, welcome back to another video for Borderlands 3. And today is an incredibly exciting day because I have the awesome opportunity to show you some of the new skill trees coming in the next update. As you guys know, the uh, Vault Hunters, the four Vault Hunters are each getting a brand new skill tree in the upcoming update. And this is of course gonna give you different ways to play them. And today we're gonna be focusing on Amara and Flak. So if you guys use either of those classes, then uh, definitely keep it locked. And of course, later on this week, we will definitely be speaking about Mose and Zane. For the purposes of this video, this is not gonna be an in depth build guide on how to use the new system it is more so going to focus on each of the individual skills so of course i've spent points in basically everything which obviously you wouldn't do in an actual proper build but this is purely to give you guys an insight on to uh, what these new skill trees have to offer and then of course as we get close to the new update we'll talk about some of the other stuff anyway if you do enjoy this a like would be super appreciated comment down below if you have any questions but let's not waste any time and let's talk about the enlightened force skill tree this is amara's brand new one which adds cryo into her arsenal it's of course a brand new element that she hasn't really been able to use before and uh, this all starts off with phase flare her brand new action skill which is incredibly cool in short this creates like an elemental orb that you can manipulate in the battlefield very very cool but to uh, quote the text it says amara summons an orb of elemental energy that deals constant elemental damage to to nearby enemies if you punch that then this will cause the nearby orb to fly forwards towards an enemy and damage them and it does some pretty sizable damage but additionally every time amara uses a melee attack on the orb it gains increased damage based on the damage that she dealt to it and pressing f caused the orb to return to amara so you can basically summon this orb punch it to increase the damage send it flying forwards and uh dish out some insane damage numbers at the same time diving down to the tree we then have trust in yourself where whenever an enemy breaks Amara's shield, she gains increased reload speed, charge speed, and weapon swap speed for a short time. This effect is doubled if Amara's shield is broken by a melee attack. You then have no mistakes in nature, where whenever Amara inflicts a status effect on an enemy, she gains increased melee damage for a short time. You have heavy rain, where Amara's weapon gains increased projectile speed and splash damage. You then have go with the flow, where whenever Amara freezes an enemy, she gains increased movement speed and weapon damage for a short time. Following on from there, we have Unweave the Rainbow, where Amara deals bonus damage of her attuned element whenever she deals melee damage or splash damage to frozen enemies. And you then have Ebb and Flow, where whenever Amara kills an enemy with a melee attack, she gains a portion of the damage dealt back as health. Now, following on from there, you have a single point skill, Combo Breaker, where killing an enemy with melee damage has a chance to reset Amara's action skill cooldown. Definitely incredibly useful. You have Joyful Freedom, where after activating her action skill, Amara gains increased melee damage for a short time, which of course goes very nicely with that new action skill. You have Burn Both Ends, where after activating her action skill, Amara gains increased threat for a short time, drawing the attention of all enemies in a huge radius. And whenever Amara is dealt damage by an enemy, she gains increased damage for a short time, and this effect stacks. Following off from there, you have Body and Mind, which is a kill skill. Amara's melee attack deals bonus splash damage for a short time. You have Free the Soul, which is another kill skill, where whenever Amara kills a frozen enemy, splinters fly out from that enemy and home to nearby enemies, dealing cryo damage. This skill has a short cooldown. And then outside of that, you have Atman, where Amara gains increased skill damage. Then turning your attention to your capstone skill, Clear the Mind. This is another kill skill where after killing an enemy, Amara can ignore enemy's elemental damage resistance for a short time, and this does not affect elemental immunity. So uh, yeah, you can really basically dial into like melee damage, elemental damage, and just uh, dish out some pretty insane numbers. Of course, outside of that, you also have some of your augments. So on the left-hand side, we have Glow Up, where instead of dealing splash damage to enemies, Amara's orb grants nearby allies health regeneration. Amara also can press the melee button while the orb is near to send it to a downed ally, granting them a second win. So you can basically become the healer. You have Shooting Star, where Amara summons an orb of elemental energy again that deals constant elemental damage. And if you melee the orb, again it sends the orb flying towards nearby enemies and damages them, which also increases the amount of overall damage the orb deals to enemies. Additionally, the elemental orb can continually fire elemental projectiles at the last enemy that Amara damaged, and pressing F will return the orb to you. So instead you can send it forward, but it almost kind of turns it into like a remote turret shooting out elemental projectiles. Alternatively, you have Light Fantastic, where again, you summon that same elemental orb that deals constant elemental damage. But whenever Amara damages an enemy, the elemental orb automatically travels to that enemy. And whenever Amara kills an enemy, the elemental orb gains increased damage. So see it kind of like a powering up, sort of siphoning thing based on the damage that you're dealing. Rather interesting, it can almost become like a pet that just sort of 
aids you when it comes to damaging and killing enemies. Outside of that, you also have Cold Hearted, which converts Amara's action skill to cryo damage. And you have Expedite, where whenever Amara kills an enemy with her action skill, she gains increased action skill cooldown rate until she activates her action skill again. So, as you can see, another interesting mix-up for Amara, definitely one for those of you that like to play more of the kind of melee playstyle, but just overall it's interesting to have, you know, the cryo element there, a lot more melee focused, and also some nice threat generation, so if you want to kind of assume that more tanky role, then uh, there's going to be some interesting combinations with this. But for the time being, that is a quick look at Amara's Enlightened Force tree. Again, for the purposes of this video, it is just on all the different skills within this tree, but once the update does drop and we can speak about more stuff, then uh, you can expect more videos on, uh, you know, how you might want to be using this in conjunction with other trees. Anyway, for the time being, thanks for watching and be sure to keep it locked because we've got plenty more Borderlands videos coming your way later on this week. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget, if you haven't already done so, you can join the Arax Gaming Discord. We've got an awesome community over there with so many different channels for you to chat loads of different topics and different games. I'm in there, the team's in there. If you guys want to chat with us, find people to play with, it's just in general a great place to be. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to turn on those notifications so you don't miss any of our future uploads.